This is Behind the Beats, an extension of the Wazza Dazza Nexters Rapster Edition. My name is Kai, and I'm here to show you how these beats came together. How did we create the music that these people then rapped to? We are going to be exploring week six right now, and I'd love to take you right into it. Week six, the theme was player, player, eh, and the keywords are the ones that got me. Baby daddy, safe border, toja, player, player. You people know these things. I'm not going to expound on them. But most importantly, for the musical direction that I got from Wazodazo, it was like that old, you know, boom bap. It was that style of music that forced people to rap. And so we had to test our contestants that way. And how I came up with this was just, you know, going back into the 90s and checking out, you know, those blackout, black and white videos. Those are the ones. Those are the ones that we are picking from. So now, my first inspiration came actually from the music. It had to be a kind of, you know, it's a delicate melody and you play it in such a way that it can be repetitive but it doesn't take away from what's happening in the song. So if a rapper is rapping, the melody is not taking away from the lyrics. And for that, I had this little line. I created this. Right? Right? It can keep on just going like that. Right? And now, when I had that, I knew it was the time. The moment I had the melody, with a style of music like this, the next thing is actually the drum. So I would like to show you guys how I came up with the drums. First, the kick. The kick is one of the most important things in hip hop. And it had to be punchy, it had to kind of cut through. So it sounded like this. And remember the flow, if we're going with tempo, We'll be going like this. So if you understand, it goes like. Right? So that's how you know that it's on melody, right? So now, if I get that and I add that little thing that I played for you guys at the beginning, then it sounds like this. Right? Now, what's missing from here is that, that thing, that, you know, that snare. That was a, we call that a snare. And for that snare, I had to choose something with styles of music like this. For this style of music, this snare has to be as arrogant as any Muchiga, you know. You guys know about Chiga, right? Okay, cool. But anyways, this is what it sounded like, right? You had to cut through, especially in those high frequencies. Very important for that. Now, if I then took that and I added that kick, because the kick is hitting in those lower, lower frequencies, this one would then complement it like this. Right? Because you need that kick to kind of just cut through, right? So now, if I play that, with everything else that I already played for you, then it would be that kick with a little bit of music. Kick, snare, music. This is what it sounds like. Uh -huh. Now, if you ever knew anything about hip hop in the 90s, there's one instrument that was, it had to be there because Hip hop in the 90s was heavily influenced by DJs because DJs are the ones that got samples and then put them together. And while they played these samples, rappers would hear them and then want to rap on top of them. So one of the things that is very uniquely DJ is this little thing here. The scratch. This. Hear that? So that scratch was very, very important, especially in the introduction. So if you start like this and you're just like, right? What introduces the beat is that scratch, like.
right? So now you have the bit already done. But secret sauce. One last secret sauce was something I actually recorded with my vocal and then I just tuned it up, right? Because I like doing things that no one can actually understand where they came from and how I put them together. It's just the joy of being Kai. So, I recorded a vocal and when you hear it, it sounds like this. So, it may not make sense to anyone else but me, but when you hear it, it will sound like this. It's in the background, so lost in there, but it complements the actual vocal. So this was a beat for week six and I was so happy that it came out the way it did and I'm so happy that Larry the Stock took it and then took it to the moon. That's what Wazo Dazo is all about and I'm so glad that this little thing created such a big impact and brought out so many rappers that we didn't even know about. Shout out to Wazo Dazo, shout out to Hideout, let's go! For the weekend, I'm grinding man, I'm trying to make a difference, ayy. Hey. Why you chillin' like with children? Life is bitter, you can see in the back end. Ay, the ladies always for the money. Gorilla cash, person cashin', that's the baby daddy. E N G A T T or a safe border. I didn't spend it down, now they callin' me a soldier. Coach up. Powered by nobody, Banat Sangayo.